that one time you bought that game with the vicious knight on the cover, but it ended up being a medieval goods and services simulator instead of a battle-based RTS? And then you got disappointed and cried, and your neighbor saw you crying, and you got embarrassed? A hunter can't find any game. Technically, it hasn't happened yet, but it easily can with the Settlers Rise of an Empire for the PC, so pay attention. Welcome to the Settlers. It's easy to believe that just because a game is set in a barbaric era, there will be a lot of bloodshed. Settlers is a great example that this isn't always the case. At its core, this game is about people. Little people. Your people. As their leader, it's up to you to build them a town with all the things they'll need to survive. Hunters need to hunt, farmers need to farm, and stonecutters need to cut stone. A stonecutter can't find any stone. A stonecutter can't find any stone. A stone cutter can't find any stone. Seriously, find them some stone. A stone cutter can't find any stone. You're charged with building them everything they'll need to cultivate resources and process those resources into usable goods. We urgently need woolen clothes. But why bother keeping your citizens happy when you could easily let them perish in the snow like the harsh despot we know you really are? I'm starving. Like a wonderfully greedy circle of life, the more you build, the more successful your town will become, which leads to more building. Eventually, you'll be able to fight for territory, but these moments are few and far between, generally being settled with, you guessed it, more building. Settlers is a beautifully crafted game with a timeless message. Don't let your people die in the snow. I'm hungry. Timeless. The Settlers' Rise of an Empire gets a three. A stone quarry has been depleted. Out of five. A stone cutter can't find any stone. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.